Okay, so I'm a little bit late. They posted it like 30 minutes ago, but uh, there is a video on Valenti and Easton coming. Uh, pretty, We pretty much already knew that they were going to be coming out, but uh, there are a couple of extra things that are kind of nice to know about the video. So uh, obviously... Uh, we are going to be getting Mark II Valenti, which is really cool. I really do like this Valenti a lot. Let me turn it down just a tad. Um, and then the Easton is also coming out. I actually don't know exactly what the Easton does, and I'm not super concerned about her. I don't even think people really use her at all. Um, but yeah, I'm really interested in Mark II Valenti just because she's really cool. I really like her like character design and everything like that. Uh, but they are like they do hint at the like disaster battle um, coming out like the like I think it's Tower of Disaster. Um, no, actually, I, I think they're going to be doing the Tower of Disaster, and I think there's some sort of yeah disaster battle with like the robot. Uh, Valenti or whatever that they had on JP not too long ago, and they're also bringing out the new final boss uh, Or oh, it's new to us, but uh, it's the trio with Griamor, uh, Hauser, and Gilthunder in it, which is kind of interesting So that'll be kind of cool I, I really thought it was kind of weird that the team that they were using was Derriere, Ludo CL, and then uh, I think it's I, I can't remember if that's Jenna or Zanary. I'm pretty sure that's Jenna, but uh, I don't know I just thought that was kind of a weird team, but uh I don't know. I thought that was kind of cool that they were using such obscure units, but um, yeah, obviously that's going to be coming out in the next update, which is kind of nice. Honestly, we needed a little bit extra, you know, sort of <laughs> uh, content, really. So we should be getting a pretty decent chunk of content in this next update, which is really nice because the last like week has been kind of dry, and even like even the week of. Uh, Meliodas coming out it was kind of dry after like because honestly like doing more than one or two runs of final boss Escanor pretty much makes it to where you don't want to do it ever again so <laughs> yeah they did come out with a tower of trials um, I think whenever Meliodas dropped which was kind of nice but actually I don't even know if it was when Meliodas dropped I think it was a little bit before that so it has been quite a little bit since we've had a decent amount of content but uh yeah honestly I'm kind of excited for it I've been you know saving up some gems and everything like that and I think I am going to try to go for Valenti a little bit even though it's probably not the smartest choice um I think I'll just try to summon on the banner until I get at least one copy of Valenti I'm not worried about Easton at all honestly um I may look into her to see if she's actually worth having but I would assume probably not, so we'll just try to get Valenti and then uh, probably dip out of the banner at that point. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys enjoy the content. Um, I know that this week has been a lot of like Assault Mode Meliota stuff, and even for the rest of the week it's going to be a lot of like uh, Assault Mode PvP showcases with different kinds of teams and stuff, but it's been dry. Okay, I'm sorry about it. <laughs> but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to subscribe for more content in the future, and I will see you guys in the next video.